Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be talking about something really interesting because I was browsing the internet and I was trying to see if there are some source code or scripts that I can buy related to a game. Okay. I was randomly browsing through a, a particular website called the Code Canyon where you can uh, purchase your own scripts or uh, purchase your own softwares or purchase your own snippets or modules for your existing softwares, right? So uh, I happen to find this particular uh, game. It's called the cryptocurrency price prediction game, right? And the interesting part about this game is I see a lot of people are addicted to such games, right? It's a very simple game and hence a lot of people are addicted to this game. Right. Let me help you understand what this game is. Right. So here you actually see multiple. You have four options here. One asset, two duration, three stake, four payout. I'll explain you what that means. Every moment, the moment that I'm talking to you, there are multiple assets across the world, right? I'm talking about crypto assets, Ethereum, you have Bitcoin, you have uh, or physical assets as in gold, diamond and so on, right? Each of these assets, values of the prices fluctuate so rapidly, right? So what this game does is it takes the API from popular uh, sources, right? Where it will standardize what is the pricing of the particular product or the uh, resource at that instance. Let me give you an example. Here you can see Bitcoin prices uh, in the next 15 seconds, will it increase from this particular value, which is 57,540 or decrease? This is all I have to predict. If I predict it right, right? I am betting, I am staking $10, right? I am staking $10. If I win correctly, if my prediction is right, I get to have $18, right? But if I lose, the $10 is gone, right? So what I have to do? I have to load my wallet with this particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, value. And with this value, I'm going to play the game, right? But since this game is actually not a game and it's hosted online as a script that end users can buy, I'm just showing you. There's a very interesting but very critical flaw that I found in a matter of few seconds that I want to bring it to your notice. First, let me play the game, right? So I'm predicting Bitcoin in the next 15 seconds will go up. And I'm, I have how much? My balance is $1,000, right? So what I'm doing is I'm putting $500 and I'm saying I'm predicting it will go up in the next 15 seconds. So see this, the 15 second mark is going down. You are actually ticking the value. When it touches, it, it's not between this time. When it touches 15th second, oh God. <laughs> when it touches 15th second, we have to see if I my prediction was right or wrong as in the value is increased or decreased i have lost 500 dollars just like that right but don't worry this is a virtual money with which i played it's a wallet uh, as a demo i played with the value that they've given but let me try once again right uh, instead of 500 I'm, I'm, I'm i'll say 400 i'm again predicting it may go high from the value 57 499 or not, right? I again lose. So this is actually something that we all have to learn is do not gamble. The more you gamble with the more resources, there are high chances that you would lose everything, right? Unless you are an ethical hacker, unless you are a cyber security professional, unless you are a security researcher who are keen and unless you are someone who is following my channel, right? Okay, let us see this. My balance currently is 100, right? If I say 400, 
will i be able to play no because value is not there my wallet does not have that value now what i do is very simple i do a right click go to inspect when inspect there are multiple tabs right one of the tabs says performance memory application right i am going to this tab called the application tab in this application tab there are multiple options right so this is the one i am loading here do you see it says balance 100 wins 0 losses 2 these are the information the data is having on the local client side now what i'm going to do is instead of say 100 I have said that my balance is 1 lakh. It's not 1 lakh. I'm just saying it is 1 lakh. And just forwarding this traffic back to the site. And let us see if there is a mechanism that the script has put in place to verify if the data is right or wrong. Right? Let's see this. I say enter. And here it says balance is 100. Now I'm going to refresh this page again. Oh, oh wow we have successfully changed the value from $100 to 1 lakh dollars how sweet is that now i can continue playing with this value right so what did we do we actually did a attack which is not directly as a part of the owsp stopped in attack vectors but this is a very interesting attack and in this what what we do is we do a right click view inspect applications local storage right so here the storage we have so the, there is a portion of data that is being stored locally on the respective client side which is not validated that is exactly what i tampered so this is called the local storage tampering attack where i am able to convert my balance of 100 to 1 million dollars or so on with no restriction whatsoever right as we know this is the attack we also now know what we should do to prevent this in terms of validation isn't it so in case you found this interesting in case you are someone who plays a lot of online games in case you have friends who play online games consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity